Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to part 8 of our Angular Automation with Protractor, TypeScript and Cucumber video series. And in this video I'll be talking about an introduction, installation and configuration of Protractor with Visual Studio Code. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 6 and 7 where we discussed about Jasmine and also how to work with Spec Runner. So in this video I'll be taking a little diversion and we are going to work with Protractor but we will be using Jasmine as a base. So we will be understanding why Jasmine is something which we discussed in those two video in few minutes now. Protractor. Protractor is an end-to-end -end test framework for Angular and AngularJS application. And Protractor runs tests against your applications running in a real browser, interacting with it as a user would. And Protractor is built on the top of WebDriver.js which uses native events and browser specific drivers to interact with your application as a user would. And Protractor support Angular specific locator strategies which allows you to test Angular specific elements without any setup effort on your part. But right now the third point which we are discussing is actually obsolete and we'll be talking about that as well in few minutes now. Why can't we use WebDriver.js instead of Protractor? Well, the answer is very simple. Protractor is yet another abstract layer on the top of WebDriver.js and we get few more custom functions out of the box from Protractor which you can refer from this particular URL. So as you can see, we have something called as a custom functions in Protractor which is very specific to automate the Angular applications. And that's why many people are going to Protractor instead of writing the out-of-the-box WebDriver.js. And WebDriver.js, of course, has all the functions more like your Selenium functions. But there are some cases where we may need to use some of the Angular-specific functions. So Protractor actually helps to make that happen. So let's quickly see what is there in the API. So this is the Protractor site for now. Maybe it will change in future. And you can see that this is a Protractor API. And you can see within this API, we can have different number of functions here like Angular app root, wait for Angular enabled, restart, restart sync, find element, find elements, wait for Angular, use all Angular to app roots. So you can see that these are some of the methods which are very, very specific to Angular's. So if we want to write these Angular specific methods, of course, if you use WebDriver.js, then we need to write them by our own codes. But here, if you see, if you go to the view code option, it is going to take you to the TypeScript class file. And you can see that they have written some logic to wait for the Angular specific applications, which we don't have to really reinvent the wheel here. And that's the reason Protractor is being used. So there are many different methods available for automating the Angular application using Protractor. We'll be going through some of these methods one by one in next videos of this course. But as of now, just be informed that these are the different APIs which is available in Protractor out of the box. And that's the reason we are going for Protractor rather WebDriver.js. Few good identifiers are available in Protractor, but we lost them with Angular 2 right now. Some of them are like by.repeater, by.binding and by.models. So these are some of the great methods which were used in Angular JS applications. But with the invent of Angular 2, Angular 4, no, we lost them all. These methods are right now obsolete and you cannot use these methods while automating the Angular 2 applications. There is a link down below the github.com angular protractor issue 3205 it actually talk about all these different methods which are right now obsolete installation installing protractor is as simple as this you just have to do this npm install hyphen g protractor to install the protractor in the global scope of the npm or if you want to store or install the protractor within your local scope for instance within your dev dependency then you can do this npm install hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev protractor so this will install the protractor into your dev dependency and then we also need to do this 
we have to update the web driver manager because only this web driver manager is responsible for starting the selenium server in your machine so basically it is going to be like starting your selenium server to get the response from the browser and sending the request back to the server so basically it acts as a proxy server between your client binding code which is nothing but the protractor code to the browser which is nothing but the chrome or firefox or ie which are browsers that you specify and then we also need to use this npm install jasmine wd2 so this is the jasmine web driver so basically we saw jasmine in our previous video but this is the jasmine web driver well if you ask me what is this jasmine wd2 well this is it it's an adapter for jasmine to web driver js which is used by protractor and the feature it has out of the box is this it automatically makes test asynchronous wait until the web driver js control flow is empty and if a done function is passed to the test waits for both the control flow and until done is called well again if you ask me what is this done function until functions and wait for control flow well we'll be talking about them while we talk about the expect method or promise method in much detail in our upcoming videos of this course and then if your test returns a promise waits for both the control flow and promise to resolve and again you can see that the promise which I was talking about in a couple of minutes before that's exactly it is again don't get panic yet because we'll be talking about promise in much detail in our upcoming videos of this course and finally it enhances the expect so that it automatically unwraps the promises before performing the assertion so configuring visual studio code for running protractor so we are going to run protractor in visual studio code and also we are going to write the TypeScript code so we have to do some of these operation to make this test happen or execute the protractor test in visual studio code so we need to add a conf.ts file and then we need to run the tsc-w for transpiling the typescript file to a js file and then we need to run the web driver manager start to run the selenium server remember the web driver manager install that we were using before to install the selenium server and this command web driver hyphen manager start is going to be used for starting the selenium server and finally we need to run the protractor it's not protractor start that's the, not the command actually it is protractor conf.ts or conf.js to run the protractor test and again we are using visual studio code so we are not really going to be using the command to start the conf.ts file rather we will be using the task.json file of visual studio code to execute the test or debug the test but basically all those things we'll be discussing in our upcoming videos of this course but as of now this is what it is this is how you can configure the visual studio code for running with protractor so let's quickly see all these things in action in our upcoming videos of this course and once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day